Hi guys and welcome to Celtic, Nicholas. Yeah, let's skip that last name uh, for obvious reasons. So let's start with the incomings, move to the outgoings, then we'll pass it over to Cal to see what he has to say on the Celtic transfer situation at this moment in time. So incomings. So we've got Nicholas coming in from Rapid Vienna, German player, left foot, he plays on the right. We do need sort of wingers to come in and prove because Yang's not really performing to what we want. Tally player, but it's like he mentally beats himself before he can do anything. Like he, can, he beats the man and he just tries that something too much when he doesn't need to. So hopefully he can come in and improve that area because in my notes before this transfer was even rumoured, I did have wingers to come in. Ferreira, who were linked with in the summer, Brazilian Gremio winger, I've kind of kept tabs on him. He does score goals fairly often, so wouldn't be against that. However, Nicholas coming in, I'm very happy with. I also had callback Haksabanovic, but Nicholas kind of covers that. Looks good. His only issue is perhaps his finishing. However, he does get into the right areas. He does have a good pass, a good cross. So he does everything right out with. Maybe the finishing could be a bit better, but as long as you can get into those areas, you can develop your finishing. So I'm not too worried about that. So yeah, happy with Nicholas. And now let's move on to the next few incoming ideas I have. So I was asked to you, who should be the next position we get in? And you'll shout two different positions. Half of have just shouted one, half of you have just shouted the other. Half of you have just shouted left back at me, half of you have just shouted goalkeeper. And both groups of people are correct, because they kind of both need a dress. Uh, left back, you know, Burnaby wasn't even included in the Champions League squad. Frame seems to be the backup left back. The youth player, but we've not really seen him ball that one up even, so it's kind of unsure who even that is so it looks like Greg Taylor is almost the only left back so that needs at least backup if anything but preferably competition or someone better than we've had Thiago Arojo uh, linked I take him to be honest a good attacking minded left back and yeah I would just take him uh, apparently 4 million fee so I don't know if that's a lot too much however if he's good enough just pay the money simple and uh, you know if he looks like a player that we can flip on for big profits makes sense for Celtic and then goalkeeper I have a few written down Anthony Patterson of Sunderland absolutely no chance as wide the dream one written in my notes the two more realistic and cheaper options is Will Dennis I've had him linked I think a month or two ago uh, the Kilmarnock keeper on loan from Bournemouth his numbers are actually like really good uh, he's better than Joe Hart at everything bar pass accuracy which makes sense because come on like you're putting long balls it's Celtic you're playing short simple passes so I have no doubt that he could do the job for us and he's a good young keeper you can develop and move on uh, it was just if you could get a deal with Bournemouth to cancel that loan and get him in maybe a loan of option to buy learn off Joe Hart for six months as his contract soon to expire at the end of the season so yeah that is kind of my ideas and then if we were to get a cherry on top sort of transfer it would be a striker a third choice Duke's available for just over two million I'd take him as third choice he has sort of down tools this season which isn't great but for third choice I don't think you could complain with a, someone like Duke who would do even better in a select team so yeah, I don't think you can play with that for third choice. And then my other like cheap, cheap option would be Anderson Lopez from the J-League. Older striker and the sort of third choice you kind of imagine profile level. Scores goals at the J-League, so does the job and be a great third choice option. Also have Miofsky, but don't see us paying that money for a third choice. So let's move on to the outgoing. So in my list, I actually send Kwong on loan. And that's actually been done in between making my notes up. And recording this so thank you St Mirren. My other ones is Sel McCarthy. I don't really see anyone coming in so it might just be a release to be honest. Burnaby loan or sell. Sell if possible but loan if we can. UK loan or sell. He's very young so perhaps a loan would be perhaps the better option but sell you know if someone comes in with a decent enough fee. And then Johnny Kenny you need to move on. You didn't do good enough in my opinion for Shamrock Rovers. I expected higher numbers of goals for a striker in that league and you didn't perform to that level, so move on. Now let's see what Cal had to say. Honestly, I'm not too sure. It's all a bit awkward right now with Hattati and Abada returning. They genuinely do feel like new signings, but it's obvious that we still need to add quality. In terms of a new keeper, I think that the summer job, I'm still not over Lovacovic, but anyway, the last thing you want is to bring in a new keeper and he's unsettled. So you need to revert back to Hart and he's not unsettled. So I think the best thing is you let Hart play until the end of the season 
and then we'll go from there. I don't think Taylor has been at his best this season and for the last couple of seasons I've always thought the left back position needs a bit of an upgrade. The only name that we've kind of been linked with is Thiago Rojo and he's going to cost us about 4 million which we're reluctant to pay at the minute but we've paid the same amount for Burnaway so I think we should just push the boat out. In terms of centre backs, I'm actually really happy, but I just wanted to say that I think we should keep Gustav Fagermelka. I'm a big fan, and I think he's a really good player with a lot of development and still to go. And I'd hate to see him leave, just like Moritz Jens did last year. Finally, in terms of strikers, everybody loves Kyogo, and I'm a big fan of it all, but we do need more competition for that area as well as more support for Kyogo while we're over the way at the Asia Cup. I'd like to think if Kyogo get called up to the Asia Cup then we'd have a striker by now but obviously that's not the case. In terms of who I'm not too sure we've been linked with Fitzgarden but as of recent that's a no go. Like I said generally this window is a bit awkward with the injured players coming back the team looks and feels revitalised which kind of masked the issue that we had a few weeks ago. My goal for this window would be to sign Nicholas Kuhn, to sign a striker that can compete, and to sign a starting left back, and also get rid of some of the deadwood. And yes, I'm looking at you, Dean McCarthy. Thanks for that, Cal. I do agree with most of that. I did forget to almost mention Leal Abada and Hatati in my part of the video, but yeah, Hatati, uh, however, is off to the Asian Cup with O etc. Good from Cal that part of the video and hopefully the gap between this video and the next one isn't as long as the break I took accidentally while well, just trying to think of the next idea. Hopefully I get back on a roll of weekly uploads. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.